Pterosaurs, Halskaraptor, Prestosuchus, and more. We actually have a lot of new mods to talk about today, and without further ado, let's just dive right into it. And of course, Merry Christmas! I hope you're all having a great Christmas, and hopefully these little presents of upcoming mods is something that will give you some excitement as well. Anyways, let's dive into it. We're starting off with Sorophagonax, and this is because I think it's time we address something. In my latest mod video, I spoke about Sorophagonax, and on its Trello board at the time, it mentioned that this was a clone in sorts of Allosaurus in terms of stats and animations, which was originally on their Trello board, but now they have updated it by saying this is a quality of life TLC mod based around Path of Titans as Allosaurus. So it looks like the original case of stats and animations has changed. I was made aware after that video went up that that wasn't the case. It's just the Trello was out of date at the time. So it's partly my fault there. However, there's a reason why I mention this and that's because there have been some horrible remarks that are being made towards the Wrath of Goliath team, the Wrath of the Goliath team, and Phalong himself. Like this one, in which I've blurred out the name of the user because I don't really want to promote comments like this. The only reason I'm showing it is to explain what's going on. You know, people calling modders in general lazy fucks and stuff like that. There's other comments going around calling them degenerates as well. It's not on. It's bang out of order. At the end of the day, these are people that are taking time out of their day money out of their pockets to ensure that these mods are coming to you and these are community members who play this game like you a lot of the mods a lot of the dinosaurs in the game you wouldn't be playing if it wasn't for modders like dinosuchus and pelosaurus Argentinosaurus and all that. Every modder works hard. They have to balance life and then do this in their spare time, which is obviously why some mods take longer than others. But calling people names like this when, you know, you're not doing these mods is a bit out of pocket. It's not fair at all. This is something that we see a lot. And this is something that's even in comments on these videos. You can have opinions on mods, but name calling and going after the developers and being heinous about the mods in themselves and the creators is horrible. And it doesn't give this community a good name at all. And now I'm sorry for starting the video on this low note. Let's go ahead and talk about some mods now. But yeah, I just wanted to say that because it's just not fair on the mod authors at all. And those who make these comments, I know you're probably not going to change. However, just don't be an ass. That's all. Now let's talk about some mods. Right, we're starting off with the Divine Beast House Caraptor. Now this is being teased by Divine Beast. Now this is an early work in progress. Now, to everybody who doesn't know what House Caraptor is, this is a little tiny genus of dromaeosaurid dinosaur from Mongolia that lived in the Cretaceous period, specifically the late Cretaceous. This is a dinosaur that is described as being kind of like a waterfowl, so to say, and it definitely shows that. This is tiny, being roughly 60 centimeters long and around 40 centimeters tall. Being a small semi-aquatic carnivore, that would basically be like a modern day version of a duck or a goose pretty much you know this as i said is being brought to life by the divine beast crew and what they have to show for it so far is this very early work in progress image and it doesn't have the uh, feather cards but like i said this is a very very rough work in progress teaser and that's all we have for now for this one very excited but i'd love to know what you think are you excited for the little tiny geezer that is house character let me know in the comments we're going to skirt back into Wrath of the Goliaths for the time being. We've got two creatures I want to talk about. This one is Phalongus. Now, when I first covered this, I said it was going to be a fantasy-based creature based off Phalong's name. No, it's an actual creature, and I was just having a smooth brain moment as someone, one of my good friends, keeps telling me, which I guess is standard now. It's becoming Veloci lore that his brain is smooth. Anyways, Phalongus is an extinct pterosaur from the Cretaceous period of China. This was around 2.4 meters in length and had around 76 long, curved, needle-like teeth. A lot of teeth for a little tiny guy. Its name is 
stands for flying dragon and honestly it fits into that if they added little tiny flying dragon before that it'd fit even more as with the mod we got to see a bunch of detailed shots of the model in the process of texturing as well details texturing all that jazz on the face the wings the back the fuzz going along it it looks great and they've done a great job there we then get to see two skins the first one is the albatross skin where we get to see pattern one two and three which which my favourite one here is pattern 1. Then we get to see the Cormorant skin, which has patterns 1, 2 and 3 again. I think my personal favourite here is probably the last one, but they don't look too dissimilar. Regardless, nice skins nevertheless. I prefer the Albatross one. I think that's just because the, I like the more brighter skin. However, very excited for this pterosaur. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. Presto Sucus is also being worked on by the Wrath of the Goliaths folks and we have some teasers to show of it so far. We have two images of it mid locomotion or animation as well as a size comparison between that and Capro Sucus. It is going to be a big creature and for those who don't know what Presto Sucus is, this is a large Pseudosuchian which sits in the same clade as Sorosuchus and Postosuchus which are also two larger members in the group. Discovered around 1929 near the city of Sao Pedro de Sul in Brazil. This was a creature that hailed from the Triassic and would have lived alongside the early dinosaurs. And this was no little tiny guy either. This was estimated originally to be about around 5 metres in length. But now recent estimates put it at 7 metres in length, which means it's actually one of the bigger pseudosuchians of the Triassic, alongside that of Thorosuchus and Phasalosuchus. So obviously this is going to be exciting. I love creatures like this. Obviously we have Poposaurus coming to the game by the Primordial Tarrants folks, and now we have Prestosuchus coming to the game, of course by the Wrath of the Goliaths folks. I'm very excited to see what they're going to cook up here. They've done great with Dimetrodon. They're doing great with Capro. This one is definitely going to be one hell of a creature. Three skins were shown from the little Psittacosaurus because so many people are asking me, do you have any news on Psittacosaurus? Well, we do. We have these three skins and obviously they've got some new tasks ticked off on the Trello board which makes it now 31 out of the 48 tasks completed. Now the reason why this has probably taken a little bit longer is because I know the Primordial Tyrants folks had to do a lot of updates to their existing mods when a lot got pushed out caused a lot of bugs so their focus kind of shifted to that for the time being which is totally fair and understandable. You know they have a lot of work to do on their existing stuff. That being said the stuff that were completed were all called hurt generic and help calls were all done here but for the skins we have a couple skins i don't have the names for them but i'm going to go over them really quickly the first one is a mix of darker colors on the top and lighter on the belly kind of counter shading so to say the next is a mix of grays and yellows with a slight stripe on the back and blotches along the body itself like the belly and then the final one is a beautiful skin with colors of oranges browns yellows whites it's a perfect skin my favorite one out of the bunch and it just looks really nice on the taco that being said that's everything for Psittacosaurus and that's everything for these mods for Christmas and yes that marks my Christmas video I know it's nothing extremely special it's it's Path of Titans mod news that's that's what it is anyways guys I hope you enjoyed I hope you all have a very very merry Christmas and a happy new year I'll still be doing videos now this video might not come out on Christmas uh, like I could be about to like just completely ruin myself by saying it's going to come out today what if path of times release another christmas dev blog like they've done last year if they do then i've got a different video to go out on christmas because that video will go out and this will be pushed to wednesday anyways guys that's mods let me know your thoughts if you are new feel free to subscribe and yeah be mindful of others please i'll see you all in the next one have a great day peace